You think pasta, you think red sauce. But what about pasta with green sauce? Today, we're making our painted green pasta with kale sauce. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We show you recipes for food, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, entertaining tips. And we try to keep everything really simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you can't entertain or cook because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and watch a new episode every single week. Today, we're celebrating, still Halloween, making an unusual recipe today. We're calling it Painted Green Pasta with Kale. Now this recipe is inspired by a recipe from Jamie Oliver, so this is my take on it. It's really simple and it's all made in one single pot. Let's get started. I have right here a nice pot of boiling water. And I'm just going to add some salt to it. Nice big handful. Oh, love it. Garlic. A few cloves of garlic, four or five. I'm going to put this right in the water. Now I'm using fettuccine today, and that's gonna take about 14 minutes to cook al dente. So let's get that started first. In it goes, whole pound. Nice and messy everywhere, love it. Okay. Now, while this gets going, let's talk about kale. Move this back on to help it. I have a nice big bowl of kale here. This is called dinosaur kale, or sometimes it's called black kale. And I've gotten all these other leaves ready. This is what it looks like, a little darker than regular kale. Now to prepare this, you wanna get rid of the stem. Very simple, just tear it a little bit, hold the stem, and pull. Just that simple. I'll do this one too in case you missed it. A little tear and pull. Okay, now that's all you have to do other than washing this off, of course. Now I'm gonna let the pasta go for maybe seven or eight minutes. The kale will then go into the same pot and it's going to take about seven minutes to cook as well. You're gonna cook this all in one pot. So it's been seven minutes. Now I'm gonna add the kale right to the pasta water. This is very interesting because it's the kale that's going to become the sauce. It all just goes right in. This is a little over a pound of kale. And we should get most of this in here. Yeah, here we go. All right, now we're gonna let this cook. This will finish cooking the pasta and cook the kale. Another seven minutes or so. Now while that's finishing, I'm gonna get ready to make the sauce. Okay, my pasta's almost done and my kale is done, so I'm going to just turn off the heat we're gonna make the sauce. Now here's the fun part. I've got my food processor. Move it a little closer. We're just going to, with some tongs, take out the kale. Just fish it out. If you get a piece of pasta, it'll be okay. It's all gonna get whizzed up in the food processor. Now what's also great is 
this pasta is taking on a tiny bit of a green hue from the kale and the water. And it's soaking up any minerals or vitamins that might have come out. So we'll just get that all in here. And all those little garlic cloves, if you can get them. This is probably the most difficult part of this recipe, fishing out the kale. But that's why I left it in big chunks too. Now this is a fun recipe. It's great for Halloween, like I said, and it's a great way to sneak some vegetables into your kids because it's gonna look like slimy green worms or something, and they'll love that. At least my kids did. All right, that's about all of it. Now, I'm gonna make this my own. I happen to have some roasted garlic. I usually have roasted garlic around. I'm gonna add that. Optional. If you happen to have some roasted garlic, add it. If not, you could add hot pepper flakes or anchovies or whatever you like. Now, we're gonna put in some of the pasta water. About a cup which is about two of these ladles. And that's gonna help make the sauce and it's gonna make it velvety. All right, here's the fun part. So whiz it all together until it's liquid. Now you'll wanna check it. Almost there. A tiny bit more water, just a bit. And some olive oil, a couple tablespoons. That'll just give it a nice roundness. Wow. What a brilliant green sauce. Mmm, and it smells heavenly from the garlic, and the kale has this natural, wonderful smell and flavor. All right, I'm going to drain my pasta, and then we'll combine all this together, and we're going to taste it. Here we are. Now I drain the pasta, I mix it in with the sauce, and look at this. Look how green and vibrant and wonderful it looks. All we need is a little Parmesan cheese. lovingly sprinkled over the top, generously. Now I'm gonna have a little taste. This will be our dinner later, but I can't wait. So I'll just sneak a little bite from right here. No one will notice. Mm -hmm. That is very, very good. Very good. Mm. The pasta is perfectly cooked and the green sauce is bright and vibrant, a little grassy and garlicky. Can't get too much garlic for me. And of course the cheese adds that added little saltiness at the end. But what a fun meal and how pretty it is. Now what would you serve this with? You could serve this just as it is. You could serve it as a side dish with just about anything. Or, like I say, just a nice crust of bread. And of course, a glass of wine. Mm. So that's our green pasta recipe. The question of the day, will you make this? What pasta will you use? You could use any shape of pasta you wanted. Make this recipe, take some pictures, let us know. Now as always, I'll have this recipe up in the comment section on YouTube. And we love to hear from you. So remember, youtube.com forward slash Let's Celebrate TV and follow us on Facebook. Take a picture of your green pasta and post it there. Facebook.com forward slash Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. I'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Happy Halloween.